Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about the SQL arithmetic operators. So SQL arithmetic operators are also very necessary to understand and helpful in analyzing the data during your testing process. So sometimes you might be having a requirement to analyze the particular set of data using the arithmetic operators and see what is the outcome of the overall data that you have got in one particular column and then do some arithmetic operations on those uh, set of data and then see when you add something when you subtract something multiply or divide the data with some of the data uh, then what is the outcome right so quickly you can perform all of those operations using the SQL arithmetic operators now sim simple operations basically addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus operator so pretty simple the concept is absolutely similar as in any mathematic term or the simple mathematical operation same you can do in the sql as well so let me open uh, the mysql workbench here so say for example this is one of my table so if i run this query select all from orders there is a purchase amount right so now how will these arithmetic operators be helpful for you that's what we are going to understand so there is a purchase amount which is in terms of dollar value that a particular customer has uh, done a purchase for now say for example i want to analyze this purchase amount and i want to see if i add certain value in this purchase amount what will be the outcome or what will be the next value in that case so the first thing is you can do it manually but then with the sql query you can quickly do that operation using addition subtraction etc similarly there is another example say for example there is a salary column or salary table and a company wants to analyze whether uh, if if they give uh, increment of certain dollar value then what will be the overall budget or what will be the overall um, expense for the company in that particular financial year so these all calculations can be done easily using these mathematical or arithmetic operators right so say for example at the moment if i just simply say select purchase amount right so if i say select purchase amount from orders okay so i don't want all these other column order id customer id and uh, order date so i just want purchase amount so i have just specified that purchase amount instead of star which means all the columns so if i run this query i'll get only the purchase amount right now if i want to see that if this particular or if i add thousand dollars purchase amount to each of these orders will my target be hit or will the target that the company has achieved for this particular month or quarter will that get achieved right so these are some sort of real scenarios that you might be using in terms of arithmetic operator arithmetic operators okay so what i can do is i can simply say select purchase amount and you can use arithmetic operator plus and then say thousand right so what this will do is this particular query will basically select the purchase amount and then add thousand to it because i have used the arithmetic operator plus to add the thousand amount to the purchase amount right and now this will be the name of the column the highlighted bit that i have highlighted in this query the name of the column at the moment is purchase amount but then in the next query when i'll run it will be purchase amount plus thousand okay so and the values will be added so thousand dollars will be added to the purchase amount in each of these entries that you see here right so it will be automatically done for all the entries so if i run this query you will see now all the if i expand this here you will see the header is purchase amount plus thousand which is basically what we have specified here the name of the header will be same thing that you specify here as well as it will also add thousand to all the values right so you will see now it is 2526 etc like that now if i want to see both of these original value and the updated value i can simply say purchase amount and then comma purchase amount plus thousand so purchase amount will return me the default values of the column right so if i run this you will see a column of the purchase amount and then purchase amount plus thousand which is basically the final amount if a customer each customer purchases thousand dollar extra what will be the final amount of the purchases right so these are some of the instances where you will use the arithmetic operator now say for example i do not want to view this as purchase amount plus thousand i want to view it or this this doesn't look very intuitive right i mean 
we need to give it a proper name so there is a concept of alias so what we can do is we can simply say purchase amount plus thousand as whatever name you want to give it to right so i can say final amount right so the amount so now this header will be named as final amount instead of this purchase amount plus thousand because i have given as keyword and the alias name as final amount for this particular calculation this column okay so if i run this now you will see now it is final amount and thousand has been added let me run it again i've sorted it so you will see the purchase amount and final amount and thousand has been added into all of those numbers or the purchase amount the default purchase amount okay so this is what the addition arithmetic operation will do if i want to subtract right so i I'll simply change it to sub minus and say I want to minus 100 out of these values. So I'll just subtract and run this query and you will see now it has deducted $100 from each of these values, right? Each of these purchase amount. Similarly, for multiplication, simply change the operator to star sign, right? And if I just multiply all these values by 10, then it will return me all the amount in multiple of 10, right? You'll see all of them have been multiplied by 10. Similarly, for the division, the operator is slash, right? And this time it will be divided, right? So you'll see it has been divided and we are getting the final amount, right? In the decimals there, okay? Then there is another one, which is basically modulus, right? So which is the remainder, okay? So if I want to use modulus, so it is a percentage sign, okay? So if I say modulus 10, then it will return me the remainder amount after the division by 10, right? So if, it, because 1, 5, 2, 6 is not completely divisible by 10, so it, the remainder will be 6, in this case also 6, whatever the remainder will be, that remainder amount will be returned with this particular operator, okay? So these, these are basically some of the arithmetic operators in SQL, which you'll use very frequently and based on different scenarios and scenarios I have already explained, you will be, you might be working with the salary calculation, you might be working with the sales data and in the sales data, you might be trying to add a certain value, um, do the increment based on certain percentage of the sales data. So all of that is possible quickly when you learn these arithmetic operators and use these arithmetic operators with the SQL queries to find the final value and final outcome for the actual data that you have. Okay. So that's all for the arithmetic operators in SQL. I hope this was helpful. This was pretty simple and easy. Thank you very much for watching.